What exactly is a large world model and how does it go beyond today's large language models? Well, the large language models have achieved their peak of interest through ChatGPTs of this world, which is uh, tremendously important. So as an output, what they have is, you know, you have a prompt in and we all know, you know, we get all kinds of prompts out, which are usually a text or images and now recently also videos. But what if actually the input is not a prompt, us, you know, saying something or dictating something uh, or writing something? But what if we have now the physics as an input, the depth, the height, the length of something? What if you need to have a semantic understanding of uh, actually an environment? What type of a machine do you need for that? And that's where the large language model actually reach their limits, right? And these are basically one or 2D tokens as an input. That's how it's called, right? And now what if you have the 3D tokens and 4D tokens? So 3D is a truly the three-dimensional tokens, right? So the output would be what? Well, the output would be an interaction that a robot, a machine would do. That is the primary use case right now, meaning autonomous systems, right? Robots or drones, right? In order for them to safely uh, do something, you know, cut something, open something, close something, and they foresee within that action how the action is completed in a safe manner, in a proper manner, right? In a linear manner, right? And uh, that's where the large world model comes into play. What we do is uh, we apply the large world model for human beings.